Hey there, monkeys here. Check it out behind me, the Agrosphere. We built this uh, this thing last episode. Really cool. Really like that build. Uh, and uh, I was hoping to build a gold farm this episode. And I was thinking, man, I really like that sphere shape so much. Why don't we try to pack an overworld gold farm into uh, into another glass sphere? We're gonna change up the color scheme. Gonna make it a little bit more thematic for a gold farm that's packed with uh, with portals. Uh, and then we'll set it up over here. Uh, it's kind of in the matching position over from that guy. So it's kind of has this uh, center section uh, evenly uh, located in the middle. Uh, and been uh, beefed up the uh, the uh, agrocera a bit as well. Uh, increased the storage. And I brought over some villagers to do some trading. So we've got a, a farmer here that allow us to convert... Uh, all the output of the farm, so the wheat, the carrots, potatoes into emeralds, and then uh, got a bunch of uh, librarians here. Uh, and this guy's great, he gives uh, five glass for each emerald, so I've been using him uh, quite a bit uh, to uh, to generate a ton of glass. A lot, uh, lot faster than, uh, than going out to find a desert and carting, uh, carting all sorts of sand back and smelting it. And check it out, look at all this glass. So, you know, didn't have to really do any FKing. Uh, just kind of generated all that while I was uh, cleaning up this area, getting it ready for the build. Uh, and then the other thing that I did uh, was all this obsidian. Man, this stuff took forever to mine out. Uh, even with an efficiency five pick, uh, this stuff takes uh, takes a lot of time to dig up and then making sure that you don't fall in the lava and make sure the obsidian doesn't fall in the lava. But we're going to put it to good use. We're going to build, uh, like I said, a sphere here. Uh, we're going to pack pack it with uh, some huge portals, take up as much uh, space as we can, put a little water collection system, and then the zombie pigmen will spawn in there. They'll get funneled into a, uh, a drop chute that's going to be located, uh, centered on this block here, and uh, be just tall enough to, uh, to drop them down, and we can collect all that precious, precious gold. So I'm going to get started. Uh, got a bunch of building to do. Um, yeah. Hopefully it uh, should be a little bit quicker than the agrosphere, a little less complicated uh, on the inside. quick building interlude to show you what's been done so far so you can see we've got a, a, the first few layers done of the the sphere and the bases of the portals are all in so you can see kind of jam this in so this is the uh, about the maximum width you can get so the biggest portal you can get is a 23 by 23 square counting the uh, the frames uh, so the these center ones are going to be almost that size I'm not gonna be able to squeeze in 23 high 22 high is the max I can go uh, and then as we get to the uh, to the edge here uh, you can see they narrow down a bit uh, and then uh, they're set up three uh, three in a row uh, it's pretty cool how this works uh, but yeah maximize the uh, this the number of portal blocks so it's not the obsidian that maximizes the zombies pigment spawn rate it's the the number of uh, those glowy purple portal blocks once these, these things are lit uh, so we'll maximize those and then we've got these uh, convenient uh, slots here that the uh, the zombie pikmin are going to fall into uh, and so their ai thinks that uh thinks that trap doors are uh, even if they're open uh, that they can walk through silly pikmin so what will happen is you know if i'm a pikmin i'm going to fall into this water uh, water stream uh, and you can see they all kind of funnel in towards the center here uh, i've set this up uh, with uh, with open uh open fence gates Pretty cool and that'll give me a, a three wide uh, drop shoot i've tried this out with a one wide and they kind of bunch up it still works but uh this way uh, they'll, they'll fall down a lot faster and then we'll uh, turn this into uh, a 24 block drop all the way down onto uh, onto a set of hoppers and we'll uh, collect all that sweet gold uh, and then obviously all this dirt's gonna go uh, uh when uh, when we're ready to fire this thing up so i'm gonna leave the lighting the portals to last uh, and i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the frames and then we'll uh, we'll wrap the glass around it to finish off the sphere i'll catch you in a bit
Ah, uh, yeah. So we got our second uh, second sphere created, uh, same size as the other one. Uh, it's looking uh, looking pretty good. Kind of like the color scheme, a little bit better on the atmosphere, but this one's uh, more topical, uh, more uh, more portal-like, and that kind of hides the portal. You can see little corners of portal sticking out there, but just barely. So the sphere is done. Everything is ready to go. I uh, got this drop tube set up. Uh, dug out a shaft that goes uh, 24 blocks down. That should be enough for our... Uh, our zombie pikmin friends so last step here is uh is just to fire this thing up so we're going to climb into this uh temporary little entrance and we'll take a look uh, from the inside oh yeah this thing looks uh looks fantastic from the inside uh, it's too bad this will be the last time i kind of see it like this so all ready to go so we're just gonna have to light the portals up one last uh, look around That's a shame, actually. We should build a, a base inside one of these, too. So, we're going to light it up. Uh, small portal at the end. Moment of truth. Make sure I didn't screw this up. And it's lit. Look at that thing. Massive. So, continue lighting the uh, next row. One. Three. And the sky. One. Two. Three, so that's six portals. Uh, we're going to do the center part last. I uh, don't want to walk through these portals uh, accidentally. Very nice. And one, two, three, that's 12 going. Let's see, we've got some friends already. And there he goes down, and I think that worked. We'll go down and uh, see what kind of goodies we have uh, down below. Uh, so let's do that one last. Let's light up this section here so we can get out. One, two, three. And now for the tricky part. One, two, don't go through the portal. Climb up the ladder. We don't want to leave that ladder. I've made sure that there's no, uh, that's what these uh, little blocks here are for, these uh, these two high bits of glass. Make sure that they do fall into the water and that there's no uh, no gaps for them so they don't hang out uh, somewhere where I don't want them. So we'll get rid of this ladder. Uh, I guess we lost that to the nether. And, oh yeah, I got a last, like the last one. Final portal. So the whole thing is, is up and running. I'm gonna leave this open for a bit in case I need to do some uh, some troubleshooting. Uh, we can hang out here if we want to see anything. There goes one and down, and he went straight into the uh, into the drop. And so they should be coming down into here, and we should start collecting uh, that gold and uh, and rotten flesh. Not a you could use the rotten flesh for trading, but really uh, wanted that gold. So already a, a few nuggets. Oh, perfect. So the the only trick with this uh, with this farm setup is that uh, you do have to hang out nearby because um, if you're too far away, the zombie pigmen uh, just kind of stay frozen, and unfortunately, there's no way to sweep them off the portal bases. So we need to be close enough that they're going to kind of wander around. Uh, unfortunately, zombie pigmen are pretty restless, and uh, and yeah, they'll just uh, continue to fall down in here. All right, here comes one through the water. He's getting pushed uh, pushed in. You can see uh, he's got a pal coming as well. Uh, and that's why I made it three wide. Uh, they don't bunch up. Uh, I love that uh, that fence gate trick. The The only trick to that is uh, you do have to put down solid blocks first, then drop the fence gates on top, uh, and then chop out the blocks afterwards. All right, check it out. I uh, didn't like the way it looked. It was a little, little garish. Uh, looked a little odd. So uh, I went ahead and put in some trim similar to the agrosphere. Just put in a bit of that andesite. So a couple, a couple of strips of that made the uh, the yellow section a little narrower. Made the black just a touch wider. Uh, the black's still a little funny. Uh, portals uh, tend to seem to show through the glass pretty clearly, uh, especially at night. This is a uh, Looking pretty, uh, pretty see-through where uh, where this bottom part is actually all all black glass, but uh, looking pretty looking pretty cool. Uh, much happier with the uh, with the touched up result. Uh, so if we get take a look, you can see I've been uh, doing a little bit of AFK around this area. Uh, not a not a whole ton. Uh, this is a slow farm. Uh, it wasn't intended to generate you know crazy amounts of gold. You can see this is what it's generated so far. Just kind of been working in the area, uh, doing some villager trading. 
getting uh, getting some emeralds and glass uh, for uh, for this build and for for some other builds coming up. No, you didn't like the farm. Where are you going, man? A uh, bit of a shorter episode than usual. I think that's going to be it. Uh, we got the uh, the gold farm up and running. Uh, so that's completed. Got some gold now to complete uh, other sections that are going to need uh, you know, powered rails. Uh, and all as always, your feedback is always welcome. Encouraged, in fact. Uh, please go ahead and leave uh, comments down below. Uh, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you want to make sure that you're uh, up to date on what's going on uh, in this crazy area, please, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, until next time, I'm Monkeys, and see you in the next video.